Hi guys, it's Ricky and this is Ricky Reveals. <laughs> so I'm um, still feeling emotional um, and I really wasn't up until right before I um, decided to make this video, which is kind of crazy. But um, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. It's really kind of crazy how, you know, one minute you're fine, the next minute, like, which is another reason why I say it's not my own emotions, but I think this time it kind of is. Um, just like certain things, like, yeah, you know, I never even heard of Twin Flame until like two and a half, three years ago, and um, never knew anything about it or nothing. And um, it's funny too because I thought somebody was my Twin Flame that, um, which. I mean, maybe they are, maybe they're not, um, but the person I'm going through this journey with is somebody else, and, um, but, you know, they always talk about the false flame and stuff as well, but, so I don't know if the one who originally I thought was my twin is my twin, and the false is the one that I'm crying over, <laughs> um, but regardless of how it actually is, I remember when I was traveling, I came across this lady who has a, um, a metaphysical shop in um, Woodville, Ohio, and I was talking to her about it, and she's like, you know, I really am sorry if you're on the Twin Flame journey, because she's like, you don't understand how bad it actually hurts to, to be a Twin Flame. She's like, the journey will break you down many times, um, because it just, it's, it's deep it's real and it and it just it hurts um because the separations that you'll go through won't make any sense and it, it will tear your heart apart and now i'm really starting to see what she was talking about um because it seems like no matter what i do um i can't do anything except wait because i've tried moving on it doesn't work um I tried contacting and reaching out. It's like it's like he doesn't even exist. It's like when he's in my life, he's real, and when he's not in my life, he doesn't exist. He's nowhere to be found. Um, and this is our second separation, so it's like both times are exactly the same. The minute he disappeared, I couldn't find him until he wanted to, until he came back. And um, maybe that's part of what gets me the most is the fact that I can't I have no control and maybe that's something I'm meant to be learning from this is to release all control and it's not like I really want to control him or anything you know, it's just like I feel like my feelings are just as valid and I should be able to, I should be able to express them when I need to express them and when I and to who I need to express them to and when I can't that, that bothers me so in that aspect I guess control does get to me but as far as like controlling him or us being together I don't really care about that because I don't want somebody to be with me just because I want them to be here I want them to be here and if they don't want to be here then, then that's fine like but the fact that I can't that he was just gone and I never got to say what I felt I needed to say to his face. That bothers me a lot. And uh, maybe that's what I really um, needed to learn is that just sometimes we don't, we don't get that. I mean, I've already been through that once and maybe that's another reason why it bothers me so much is because my best friend died when I was 24 or well, I was 25. She was 24. And, um, the last time we ever spoke, we were in an argument and, um, I never got to, she died with me, with me thinking that she, I thought she thought I hated her, and, um, that took a long time for me to, to get over, and, um, I guess this is, this is triggering that again, because even though he's not dead, or at least I hope he's not, <laughs> um, it's that same feeling, like, we, um, had a little bit of an argument, which, I mean, I didn't think it was that bad, but, Maybe he did, I don't know, but that was my last interaction with him, and um, then he was gone, and I think that's 
one of the reasons I, it really bothers me is because here I am again, someone I truly loved with all my heart walked away from me and and there's a chance that they think I don't care about them um, and that kills me because I probably care more about them than anybody else in my life and um, it's just really hard so <laughs> if you're on the twin flame journey and um, you're in separation you're not alone <laughs> other people are struggling too um, but you have to love yourself and you have to keep going and keep showing up for your own life. And that's what I'm trying to do now. Um, uh, just realizing that I can't control nothing and that sitting here waiting on somebody who may or may not ever come back. Um, and I'm just sitting in a room with, I, I barely leave my house. I barely not really outside of this channel youtube channel i've not really done anything in a while and i don't even want to be in the state that i'm in and i really do feel like god's calling me to another state and i'm just like refusing to leave because i want closure in a way that makes me feel good and instead of accepting what what is and um i guess that's the point is for me to um, accept what God wanted instead of what I wanted and um, continue to move on and fulfill my life's purpose. And that's what I'm trying to do now. So let's get some Zodiacs here. Um, well, let's go to the Bible first. Uh... Oh, pardon me, it feels like Acts is appropriate. So Acts 15, 15 is what we'll do. And to this agree the words of the pro prophets as it is written. After this I will return and will build again the tabernacle of David, which is fallen down, and I will build up again the ruins thereof, and I will set it up. That the residue of men might seek after the Lord and all the Gentiles upon whom my name is called, saith the Lord, who do, doeth all these things. Known unto God are all his works from the beginning of the world. Wherefore, my sentence is that we trouble not them which from among the Gentiles are turned to God. So that was actually 15 through 19. Um Maybe the twin flame journey is actually um, has to do with God's prophets and um, learning to come into their gift so that um, they can speak for God and um, allow the um, temple to be rebuilt and not just the physical, but um, the Metaf metaphoric uh, temple, which would just be, you know, God's um, people kind of rising up and coming back into control of the earth. Aquarius. But I definitely think that's cool that I chose that. Cause anytime I like go to the Bible in these videos, I just randomly open it up and pick something. Excuse me. And um, I think it's cool that I um, picked that when it's talking talk about prophets and raising up the temple again. Uh, Scorpio. Because I think that is the, the season that we're in or in the generation that we're in. Pisces. Taurus. Capricorn, Cancer, and Gemini. Ugh. I think it is funny, like the last four, three or four readings I've done, I, um, I've actually gotten seven to come out because I only try to do, um, 
I only try to do six because that's half the zodiac, and the last couple times it's been seven instead of six. Okay, so someone um, is in a lot of deep thought over um, options and choices that they've made. Um, they feel like the seeds they planted, the options that, or the choices they've made have left them out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles here. Um, either they've chosen to betray someone or they feel like they've betrayed themselves and I feel like that has something to do with Taurus because I just laid that on top of Taurus. So if Taurus is either feeling like the choices they made really betrayed someone that they loved and the Taurus is really feeling left out in the cold, they're feeling alone in despair or because they betrayed someone they really cared about, they um, I don't know, I, I feel like that's the Taurus, that they are in despair because of what they've done. But then again, it could be Tower, right on top of Tower Capricorn, and then the Hermit on top of Cancer. Um, I don't think this betrayal was on purpose. Um, I think it was just a series of choices and uh, manipulation that were a series of choices that were made um, through manipulation that um, led to a betrayal that caused a tower that um, wasn't originally intended. Um, but now because someone is too prideful or standing in their ego, they can't bring themselves to apologize or admit that they know that they were wrong. Even though they do, they know it. And they are suffering for it heavily. They still can't bring themselves to admit it. Which is sad because, I mean, I really think that there could be forgiveness and closure if this person could admit what they did and, and they didn't mean, they really didn't, they didn't know the extremes their choices were going to go to until it was too late. And that they really didn't mean for it to be the way that it is. But now that it is, there's nothing they can do. Or they feel like there's nothing they can do. And even though they wish it was different, um, that's just the way it, that it is. And um, they, um, they're sorry. Wow. Uh, if they could, if they could bring themselves to do it, though, it would close out a chat. It would close out a cycle, and um, it really probably would bring a lot of peace to e them and the other person. Um, whether there's reconciliation or not, um, I think they both would sleep better at night, and they both would have an easier time moving on if this closure was given and the sad thing is it's up to this person this Taurus um, or whoever but I mean I just happened to say Taurus because it landed on the way that it did but um, if they would 
they could give themselves the closure that, that they really need and that this other person needs to just by picking up a phone that's probably in their hands 24 7 anyways um yeah both people definitely are stuck um Stuck in the matrix. The Hierophant and the Eight of Wands. How that makes me feel actually because in this deck the hair font is laughing and it's almost makes me feel like <laughs> the Taurus is laughing and not sorry or sympathetic <laughs> like but someone is thinking about traveling to uh, traveling somewhere or sending messages um, but either it's breaking their heart to do it or they're afraid when, if they do send the messages that it'll break the other person's heart. But I mean, that fear, I mean, to me, at this point is ridiculous because the heart's already broken. I mean, the only thing left to do now is to heal. Um, and I think no matter what the messages are, if they are true, and the, it's the truth, then they will lead to healing. That's the only option at this point. The damage is done. And the only thing left to do is heal. But one or both people are feeling like that's not possible for whatever reason. But if the truth is just exposed, um, whatever your truth is that only that only leads to healing because the truth is the truth like regardless of what it is a temperance the angels are watching the angels are helping to restore balance um, but they can't they can't get in the way of free will so as long as someone's standing in their ego or their pride and refusing to do what's right or, or what they know they need to do, there's not much anyone can do because no one can force free will. I, uh, Knight of Swords. I think, I think someone's getting close. Um, they're realizing that they can't, they can't. I think this person meant too much to this person. They did truly love them. Um, and I think maybe they've gotten a little bit over their ego and their pride to realize how much they actually hurt this other person and they can't live with themselves. I'm not saying that they want this person back. I'm not saying that they, um, you know, are trying to restore the relationship. They might just be trying to restore someone's heart because they, I think energetically, they feel the pain that they've caused the other person. And um, they just want that other person to to heal. And um, I think they're finally going to do what they need to do in order to give that person the peace and the closure so that that, that person can move on. At least they're, they're running somewhere, that's for sure. <laughs> I think through this person... this person doing the right thing it will set the wheel into motion again the wheel of fortune will start turning again and um, it will allow for someone to get their emotional fulfillment even if that's not together it might be though um, it really might be I, who knows, don't have any attachment to the outcome. Just know that 
healing and closure is coming. Um, but the reason there's two women here and there's two children there. Um, so, and, and the, the rainbow, um, that they're sitting on. I definitely think this bond, whether it's what you thought it was or not, um, it is definitely, it was meant to be, and um, the other person feels it as strongly as you do, even if they don't admit it. But I think they're at that point where they can't deny it anymore, or just they at least want to tell you they're sorry, even if they can't be in your life. They want you to know that you were as important to them as you thought you were. And that the time you guys spent together was real. It wasn't fake. It's just over. The whale through music reclaim life's magic and grow strong in body and soul so if um you've always been really into music and maybe because of what's happened um you haven't been listening to music like you used to maybe you should get into like just i mean just playing songs again uh playing music trying to re um Reconnect to life through music. Chameleon. Conceal ambition with patience until it is time to make your move. Maybe that's what this person's doing. They actually have been doing a lot in the background that you don't know about. And uh, they've just been patiently waiting until they feel the time is right. Black Panther. Sensuality and passion stir beneath the cloak of secrecy. So... <laughs> Maybe you're boohoo and wallowing for no reason. <laughs> um, it does seem like there's a lot that's been going on that you don't have any clue, any idea what this person's been doing. And they really have been doing stuff in secret that is positive and that is for the greater good of, of all involved. Hippopotamus. Friends stand close by to shield you from life's adversities. And the deer. Take note of the measures and whispers and secrets adrift on the breeze. So just pay attention to what's going on around you and um, pay attention to people's words and actions because there might be people around you that know things that you don't know that they know. There might even be people around you that know your person and you don't realize they know your person so think about that too um peacock protect your heart from those who may cheat before they hurt you like i'm pretty wise and i um have a big heart with a lot of empathy and compassion but i don't claim to know everything and that's one thing that like i don't really quite understand what that means protect your heart from those who may cheat before they hurt you. Like, um, cheating hurts. Like, and I think if you're really truly in a connection, that's um, a real genuine connection, then you can feel it energetically when someone cheats on you. You know it. I mean, at least I know I always did. My, I can feel it in the pit of my stomach, like, whenever my partner cheated on me. Um, even if they denied it or not. I, I admitted it or not. I always knew. You can just feel it. Like, you know, when you're energetically bound to somebody or, you know, in, intertwined with them, you know when something's not right. You can just feel it. Let's see. Get 
terminology. I do hope that my videos help people. Um, I guess they do help me as well, but I really started them to help others. Um, and at first, I really didn't connect with my videos at all. Uh, over this last couple of months, I feel like all of them have been like about me and I hate it because I really want to help others, not my, well, I guess I do want to help myself, but my focus is to help others. And the last couple of months, I feel like all my readings have been about me, but maybe it's because I've been so um, hurt or self-absorbed into my own pain. That's why it's all coming out. Uh, it's coming out and like my story is coming up more often than not. Bring love into the situation, Aquarius. Balance spirituality and practicality, Pisces. A personal issue reaches resolution, Cancer. It would be nice to get a Christmas, Christmas miracle. <laughs> even though I don't believe in Christmas. And it's not because I'm a Scrooge. It's just because it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Hold your vision. I mean, the Bible clearly states that the plows were still in the fields when Jesus was born, which means it was not December. <laughs> September makes more sense. <laughs> you and your loved ones are safe. Cancer. And have faith in your dreams. So. Hold on. What is for you is for you. It will not pass you by. God has a greater plan than you ever could even begin to think of. And um, all will work out the way it's supposed to. And if you're suffering through an immense amount of pain. God will heal you. I mean he knows what, what's gonna t what it's going to take. And um. It will happen. He loves you. He's not going to let you continue on like this forever. Um, I guess one day when you least expect it, something will just come along. Somebody will say something. They'll do something. And it'll be as if this heartbreak never happened. So don't give up faith. Don't give up hope. There's a brighter day coming. I love you guys. If you love me as much as I love you, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.